Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Friday, February the 23rd, 2024. My name is Brian J. Monroe, and I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I'm here to read for you the entry for today from Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional written by uh, Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. Today's entry is entitled, Isn't God Everywhere? The following is from the scriptures. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Psalm 139, verses 8 to 10. Many people do believe that God is with them, perhaps because of past experiences. Others say so, or reasoning at points to this. Or reasoning that points to this. But is that all? Do we have no awareness of God's being here with us now? Do we have no evidence of God's action in and around us? Although belief in God's omnipresence is essential, the human heart can never be content to simply have blind faith that God is present. This cannot be an adequate foundation for sustained spiritual growth. There is much more to know and receive. Otherwise, they will never enter into their capacities as kings and priests, never, in quotations, reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Close quotes from Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Meditate on this. Read Psalm 139, verses 8 to 10, and ask yourself, do I believe God's presence is with me at all times? Because the Bible says so? Because, because others believe it? Because reasoning points to this? Because I have an awareness of God being here with me? Because I've seen evidence of God's action in or around me? Any of those? All of those? It's worth considering. Dear friends, as always, I commend you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to listen as I read these devotional reflections written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. Um, but what I really pray is that you'll take the time to take a look at what I put in the description portion of the video, the, the title, the scriptures, the additional scripture in this case from Romans, and the instructions to uh, consider these things. I do pray you'll take the time to do the work of listening to God. And I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I'll read the entry. And for tomorrow, that'll be Saturday. It'll be an entry to cover two days, both Saturday and Sunday. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.